You are now watching Tales from the Grid. I ranked the morphers based on my personal opinion of them. I excluded morphers for battleizers, power-ups, and zords because they're not specific to morphing into a ranger. Other morphers were excluded if they were slightly different but mostly the same as the core team's morphers. Any other morpher not mentioned was a mistake. Enjoy the video. I like the power coins. I like that this morpher can be summoned. I rank this morpher as great. It's morphing time! <laughs> the Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers don't have a morpher, which is fine to me. I rank this non existent morpher as okay. It's morphing time! <laughs> I like that the Xeonizer is a dual morpher. I rank this morpher as good. Shift in the turbo. I like that the turbo morpher's item is an actual car key. I rank this morpher as great. Here, put these on. Alright, let's rock it. I like that the Astro Morpher has multiple uses besides morphing the Ranger. I like the keypad as well. I rank this Morpher as good. I like that the Transmorpher is designed after the Quasar Saber. I rank this Morpher as good. Ready? Right. Light speed. Rescue. I like that the Rescue Morpher is so compact. I rank this Morpher as good. Time for time. The Chrono Morpher is the first Morpher I've seen still present while suited. I rank this Morpher as good. Take this growl phone. Do as we do. Wild access! Wild access! The Growl Phone is the first phone morpher for a team. I like that it can turn into the Ranger Zord and into the Ranger themselves. I rank this morpher as okay. These are your Power Ranger Wind Morphers. You will embody the powers of the Yellow Wind Ranger. I like the Wind Morphers Power Disc. They're reminiscent of the Power Coins. I rank this morpher as good. Dino Morphers. Ready! Ready! Ready. I like that the Dino Morphers are unique to their Ranger by being designed after their primary Zords. I rank this Morpher as good. Ready. Ready. SPD emergency. I like that the Delta Morpher is used as a tool as well. I rank this Morpher as okay. Magic Source! Missing Force! Goldwyn, Misto, I prefer the Mystic Morpher to be more wand-like. I rank this Morpher as okay. The Overdrive Tracker is a bit bland. I rank this Morpher as okay. The Solar Morphers are sunglasses. I rank this Morpher as trash. Ready, ready. Getting here. The Cell Shift Morpher is a bit bland. I rank this Morpher as okay. Samurizer. If the core samurizers would have had the brush feature, then they would have been better. I rank this morpher as okay. It's morphin' time! Go, go, Mega Boys! The Gosei morpher is Gosei's face, and it's a gimmick to sell cards. I rank this morpher as bad. Super Mega Boys! I like that the legendary morpher opens up, but it's a gimmick to sell keys. I rank this morpher as okay.
The Dino Charge Morpher is more of a weapon than a morpher, and it's a gimmick to sell dino chargers. I rank this morpher as bad. It's morphin' time! Lock your stars in! Ninja spin! The Ninja Battle Morpher is bad, and it's a gimmick to sell Ninja Power Stars. I rank this Morpher as... trash. Activate Beast Power! For a wrist morpher, the Beast X morpher is too bulky, and I'm not a fan of the glasses feature. I rank this morpher as bad. It's morphin' time! Dino Fury Keys! Smooth. Activate! Winter Morphin' Grid! For a wrist morpher, the Dino Fury morpher is too bulky, but I do like the rotating helmet feature. I rank this morpher as okay. Cosmic Orb. Link to Morphin Grid. The Cosmic Morpher looks good, but I'm not a fan of the latch or the brace. I rank this morpher as good. <laughs> The Gold Zero Ranger doesn't have a morpher, which is fine to me. His staff isn't his morpher. I rank this non existent morpher as okay. The Digimorpher looks like a plain cell phone. I rank this morpher as okay. I like that the Magna Defender Morpher brought back the Dual Morpher. I rank this Morpher as good. Titanium Power! The Titanium Morpher looks good because the colors stand out and pop. I rank this Morpher as good. Quantum Power! I like that the Quantum Morpher has a straightforward command that gets right to the morph. I rank this Morpher as good. I like that the Lunar Caller is a wrist morpher as well. I rank this morpher as good. I like the Cyclone Morpher for how different it looks. I rank this morpher as good. The Thunder Morphers remind me of the Beetle Bonders. I rank this morpher as great. Dino Thunder! The Brachio Morpher reminds me of the Turbo Morphers. I rank this Morpher as good. Omega Morpher! Electro Mode! I like that the Omega Morpher has a throttle. I rank this Morpher as good. Solar Cell Morpher! Magical Source! Mystic Force! I like how this Solar Cell Morpher is a ticket puncher. That's very unique. I rank this Morpher as good. I like the snow staff because that's what I expected the Mystic Morphers to be more like. I rank this Morpher as good. Overdrive, accelerate. Yeah! The Mercury Morpher was a nice break from the Foam Morphers, but it's bland. I rank this Morpher as okay. I like that the Wolf Morpher is stored on the wrist like the Lunar Caller, but I'm not a fan of the inside's design. I rank this Morpher as okay. Final Morpher, initiate! Unleashed! 
I think the Rhino Morpher is ridiculous in a good way. I rank this Morpher as great. Yeah. RBF, get in gear. I like the lever on the Rev Morpher. I rank this Morpher as good. Engine sound. The Sky Morpher doesn't even look like a Morpher to me. I rank this Morpher as bad. Super Mega Mode. I like that the legendary Silver Morpher's buttons have the helmets of other six Rangers. I rank this Morpher as okay. I like the Gold Terra Morpher because it embraces the gauntlet design. I rank this Morpher as good. The Spino Boomerang just looks cool. I rank this Morpher as great. Gold Ninja, Power Star. Lock it. Ninja spin. The Gold Ninja Battle Morpher is only redeemed because it can turn into a gun. I rank this Morpher as bad. The Striker Morpher is more of a weapon than a Morpher. I rank this Morpher as okay. <laughs> The Villain Morpher is actually decoration from another suit. I rank this Morpher as trash. Dino Fury Key! Activate! Link to Morphin The Moza Blaster is more of a weapon than a Morpher. I rank this Morpher as bad. The Hyperforce Morpher looks like a Chrono Morpher redesigned just to take cards. I rank this Morpher as bad. It's Morphin time! Mastodon! These Power Morphers don't even exist within the movie. I rank this Morpher as trash. Oh my god, now! Oh my god, forever! The Omega Morphers are okay. I just feel like their rings are unnecessary. I rank this Morpher as okay. Beetle Bonder. Beetle Blast. The Beetle Bonder is very well designed and executes the look. I rank this Morpher as great. Trooper Transform! For a show that has to do with technology, these virtualizers aren't even a piece of tech. I rank this Morpher as okay. I clearly have a preference for wrist morphers, summoned morphers, and morphers that are unique. I mark some morphers with two different accesses because they're debatable. This ranking can change over time, but as of now, this is its current standing. Thank you for watching another episode of Tales from the Grid, and until next time, have a good one.